The, the denim has a, had a finishing before, so we had to strip it. So we bleach it with color remover, and then that gives us like the right tone on the stain and the right tone on the base. And then we just retouch it with pigment, like hand-painted pigment. Every single stain, that's why it takes eight hours. <laughs> right? But you know, to me, this is not good enough. You know, this looks like it's, the ink is bleeding. This looks perfect. You need to go around it again. I do agree that that look looks a little spanky. Yeah, that one? Yeah. We need a bit more red, otherwise it looks super weird. 19 and 21, if you just change the bottoms. Yeah. Do you have a... We need bigger one. I have a... The way bigger. This guy was not confirmed. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot to take out. Okay. Can we try the other ones on quickly? So these are the smaller jeans. Okay. This is the crouch jacket. They need to be a tiny bit longer. Does she need a bag? Yeah. See, this is not right here. Yeah, this is okay. good. That's got to go, and that's yeah. got to be straight. It's painting. It took like three hours. To paint the bag. I feel like it takes less to take it in. Beanie, maybe? Uh, Not green. green. Yeah, green let's try it. It's okay? Yeah, you're good. Henry. Thank you. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, I got it. How much? An inch? Yeah, about. I'd love to have put like, just the plain nylon label there. Can't you do that? You want to do it? We can do it same. Yeah. What do we think about that? This is our production facility and then this is our sample room. So all the sample that we got fitted for the shoot and then we'll be taking over here for alterations. So you wanna make a little patch? Yeah, we just want a 16th top stitch. Three quarters of an inch down. Uh-huh, three quarter inches away. So otherwise, uh, I gotta, I gotta remove the, uh, remove the pocket. I think yeah. That would look better, but you don't need to take it the whole way, right? Just. Okay. Mm. So what do you got? Alright, so this is bad boy. Okay, you wash it. When you washed it, it was fine, huh? So, should we just do, just go yeah, like yeah. there, okay? Yeah. And then you start there, no? You don't want to feel, you want it to look like she hasn't washed her hair for a week yeah. and she's walked into a casting yeah, yeah. and you've said, you put her in a look and you said, you know what, just do it. And she's done that. Like, it yeah. should feel that yeah. raw and organic. Shouldn't feel like we've sat her in the chair. Mm. I think it looks good. I think it looks really nice. It looks really it feminine. Feels it looks it's hard. Bit more it looks nice. Yeah. So I think we're all in. We print out as many looks as Vanessa puts together and we keep printing up on the board every time it changes. So it's like we have boxes and boxes of pictures, but it's just like her creative process. Today we'll do look cards at the very end of the day, probably at like 4 a.m. We'll put all the detail shots of everything that the girls are wearing. One, two, three. Profile facing that way. One, two, three. On look 12, that's going to work. The show is over in six minutes. 
everyone looks at the internet for months afterwards, right? I mean, basically, as a casting director, from your point of view, what is the, what, what, who do you think should start with? I mean, that's, it's got to be your call as well, because I just don't know. How is this going to be, so that it has a little zip here? Yeah, we were changing the teeth to be black. It needs, it needs to be a V shape more, like, so it needs to be tighter okay. at the bottom. Has anybody on that board realized? Like no, they're having a lot of trouble with the embroidery. Yeah, exactly. They've been sitting there for six hours and there's nothing done. I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm good. It doesn't back out so much. Okay. Do you want this higher, Vanessa? No, a tiny bit higher. Yeah, it just needs to be fitted. Those shorts need to be fitted. Yeah. Do you want to measure her from high point shoulder? Do we like the length of the top? A little bit shorter. It's much shorter in the back. Tiny, maybe a tiny bit shorter to it. She's not even going to go back Her Her looks out here. I think we need to take out the lining. We need to paint it. What do you want to do first? Alterations or painting? No, no, no. What are we doing first? Okay. Okay, let's take an inch off and hope for the best. Yeah, I think each season you just try and evolve a little bit and push the push the boundaries as much as you can in certain directions without losing sight of who you're making clothes for. At the end of the day, the whole point of this is that some of it ends up on someone's back. In fact, if you don't do that, if you push it too far and no one wants to wear it, then it's a total waste of time. There's little things that were quite extreme changes late last night. It's looking at the embroidery was taking forever. The fucking, lots of people apparently embroidering this season and there aren't that many embroidery places left. It's amazing. Oh my God, guys. It's super like bowling alley. I mean, it was a big 50s bowling Frank Sinatra kind of silhouette. And so you see that a lot with the short jackets and the high-waisted pants and lots of English military and like American hunting. Uh, yeah, this is very exciting. With the hood, unfortunately I wasn't allowed to put the hood up, but they just disappear with the hood. It's good, the crease. I just want to be careful that the crease is a bit fucked here. This is, for me, it's just like a, a, a problem elimination process. So it's kind of a little bit of a Catherine hepburn -y 50s girl, but like one that you would be able to touch and kind of relate to today. I feel like the rag and bone girl has to just be easy and kind of street. And it has to be like one thing. It can't be like 15 steps. Should get a makeup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've just got to check one more quickly. Okay, it's done, darling. okay yeah, there's a big group at the end. Uh, Mid head right up. Look, come here, come here, look. Gregory, look. Look, look here. You feel like she's done that with her hands. Okay. It can go a little bit borderline. We're too wrong. Too Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Especially on blonde hair. See, if it is a little bit edgy and a bit punky, it's still got to feel like a girl could look like that in a way. Marcus kept saying about like Saturday morning, so like the idea this girl's kind of just got up in the morning and pulled her hair back, yanked it back in this kind of like little, almost like slightly dreadlocky knot. Leggings, sleeves, sleeves. We'll do rehearsals in about five minutes. Great. And then we're going to keep the girls dressed. Yo, what's going on? Is it 3D? <laughs> Is it 3D? <laughs> stopping about three feet from the end of the bench. No stopping. Just take a quick white turn. You're going to come back over here. You're going to cross over on the center here okay. and going straight back out again. It's in the shape of an H, okay? Like this. So go backstage and we'll just run this quickly, okay? Okay, you go down, and then you turn around, and then you go to the middle. Okay. Girls go all the way back. Camille, Jessica, Constance, Georgia, and Svetlana. Constance is number three. It's like an M. It's like an M. It's like an H. Well, let's say it's like an M. But when I do, when I go left, when it's I go left, it's not an M, it's an H. Where I go left. Do an H. Do an H, girl. All the way around, all the way down.
Oh shit. Stop smile. Dragon Bone and what does it stand for and what it stands for is very sort of genuine it's very much um, all of our experiences and everything is sort of um, put into a melting pot and it's, it, it's very sincere and we need to be able to project that and you guys and your team need to be the ones that are at the front of that so um, let's have a fun night it's been a good day and uh, it'll probably be a fun evening so <laughs> let's get rid of the cameras <laughs>